Hi, so I'm Aaron the Handyman, and I'm just doing a January 24 update of what my setup is. So, purchased um, 23 was the 2020 F-150. This is my current trailer. Starting with the outside, this is a 2021 enclosed trailer. I have a uh, standard plug outlet right there. You can kind of see the cap poking off there so I can plug the trailer in. It does have 440 watts of solar on the roof. And this is my current setup. So starting from the back here, um, still have my cleaning supplies I keep up top there my fire extinguisher, different types of sheet goods, plywood, drywall, a little piece of OSB there, six foot table. Um, I updated and got a bigger ladder this year. Uh, my quick can above that, I got my good saw horses. And above those, we've got my uh, painting saw horses, basically. I put my water key here for quick access. My miter saw, it's cordless. 10 inch sliding on a rigid stand. I really love the rigid stand, so I've stuck with it this whole time. Uh, another box of cleaning supplies, it's got trash bags. Uh, that's where my paper towels are and a few other odds and ends. My quick tool bag and my vacuum go here. Uh, that is a first aid kit that will eventually get mounted right here. Or I'm gonna buy the, um, the small Milwaukee pack out first aid kit to go right there. I haven't decided yet. Got a couple different drawers here. Um, I noticed this one was the first one I actually bought was this set here. And I noticed that it was kind of bouncing out, like maybe there's too much weight, probably needs another shelf here. But for the time being, in the last six months, I've gotten away with this ratchet strap and it's worked great. So it is a little bit of a pain sometimes, but um, in here I keep, this is kind of my blades drawer. This is my vacuum attachment and overflow of blades. As you can kind of see there. Um, in this drawer, and I'm just gonna push this down a little bit, it works. Um, this is all just sandpaper. Going lower, I just kind of went through these and I haven't filled them up too much um, yet. I will, and once I do, I'll give you guys an update. Uh, my rolling toolbox. This is great. We have a lot of um, a lot of uh, student living buildings going in, so I have to park away from them. Having a rolling toolbox um, with some you know, spot for levels for hanging TVs and assembling furniture is absolutely fantastic. Uh, moving along, blower works great for cleaning out the trailer real quick. Those are my tracks for my track saw, and then I went to this bin system here, um, and I've kind of just tried to organize them by like items so this is all pretty much just drywall mud here this is a little bit of an overflow box um, different types of fasteners like zip ties and things that don't quite fit with um, the stacks there um, this is also another overflow box but this is all clamps and different situation different items like that this is all different caulks and sealants uh, this is a big painting box, some light electrical. Now, the state of Florida, we're not allowed to do electrical. I was an electrician, so I do keep it just in case. Uh, but mainly for friends and family, you can see it's basically this little pile over here and that piece of wire. Uh, but this is like wood repair. This is where I keep my shims. Um, plumbing down here for we do like sinks and things like that. Um, down at the bottom here, that's miscellaneous bolts and nuts and things. My paint sprayer, extra bags, or trash bags, my table saw goes there. Um, this box here has got my laser, extra filters, those are my uh, nails for my framing nailer. Moving along, um, up top here, so I have my paint shield. Uh, this is my sanding pole, my mop, my mud mixer, my broom and dust pan, and then one of my poles for painting, the longer one. And then we've got this, I absolutely love this ladder. It's super lightweight, um, gives me about a 10 foot reach. So it's really convenient. Well, I'd probably say nine foot, I'm not very tall. 
I'm only like 5'8". So, um, love these platforms. If you've never tried them, I'd suggest getting one and just messing around with it. They're fantastic. Um, then coming around here on the other side of this plywood here, this is where I hang up my nailers, my band, my, let's see, my little bandsaw goes there, uh, my big circular saw, and then my siding nailer. Because Milwaukee hasn't made one yet, so. Uh, Pop-up tent, uh, I'm in Florida, it rains, just random showers all the time. My uh, T-square for cutting drywall. This is my trauma bag right here, always ready to go, gotta have that. Moving along, it's just my level tripod up here. If you don't have one of those kneeling pads, they're fantastic for different areas. Um, and then in here, so I've started working on this recently. This is kind of just started organizing everything. I found these little bins on Amazon, and they're great. Um, they didn't cost very much. I'll try and see if I can find a link for them in the description, but um, they have been great for organizing this thing. Hammers, pry bars, big impact sockets, some wrenches. And this is just my bit drawer, pretty much. Uh, router bits, big auger bits, taps. Uh, this is a camera, like a bore scope. Underneath that's a label maker, because I'm going to label everything in here. And then wholesale kits. And next one down this one's a little bit of a mess but i've got just some random tile stuff in here some putty knives uh, i haven't had to use this yet but i picked it up uh, it's basically makes it like a portable drill press fantastic tool um, for doing hinges here routing i have a couple other hinge kits up there right there and right there and then down below this is where i keep all the painting stuff for my big paint roller uh, moving around here, so I just hung this fan up. I, like I said, I am in Florida, so this thing is a lifesaver when this hot trailer, but this is my Victron setup. So solar comes in there, goes to this power distribution block, moves over to, that's my inverter there. It also connects through here, and I have two 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, down below here, I have some light plumbing stuff, and my um, Craig pocket hole jigs. This is all just fasteners. All these got to be labeled, but one, I can't remember what they are, but one of them's like structural screws. One's some drywall screws and miscellaneous. One of them's just some random nails. One is just all wall fasteners. Uh, the vacuum cleaning up. That is the little transfer pump stick that Milwaukee came out with. I've got my four foot, my two foot, um, Hanging storage there. Coming around, we got the chargers, which all work off the inverter. So for most part, I can use the sun to charge, although I do have that plug on the outside. And then working along here, so my fan, that's my track saw. It's another big box of fasteners. This is gonna be tapes and glues. It's not completely done yet. And then working across here, you kind of see different different tools, tape measures, um, some like that's the SDS, those are some SDS bits I have shoved in there with them. Um, those are um, multi-tool bits. The thing being here, it's actually supposed to go there, but that's okay. Just keep moving along here. Bunch of different tools, and some of these aren't all power tools, but and I have this big magnet bar, which I just throw up bits that I use all the time on it. Um, so this was kind of a catch-all for a long time. and still got some catch-all in it. This one, um, I haven't done a whole lot with it. Just put my router in here, one of the pieces for it. But yeah, no, this, is, this is my setup for right now. Um, that's kind of just a catch-all right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do there. Um, that is just some bleach. There's some kills in there. That box right there is actually those bins that went in there. I haven't used it a whole lot yet. But this is the the trailer right now. As of January 2024. Still more work to be done. That's it for now. Thank you.